the affirmative task we have now is uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order because the global order is changing again. And the institutions and rules that worked so well in the post-World War II era for decades, uh, they need to be strengthened and some have to be changed. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. There's a need for a new world order, but it has different characteristics in different parts of, of the world. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions or on so global a scale, nor has any previous order had to combine the attributes of the historic balance of power system with global democratic opinion and the exploding technology of the contemporary period. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. I think his task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. It isn't just a crisis. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind, peace and security, freedom and the rule of law. Such is a world worthy of our struggle and worthy of our children's future. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges. And the hope that each of us has to build a new world order. And I strongly believe India will be a central actor in the new world order. Well, this week, PPP released the findings of a poll of how, um, how much Americans believe in conspiracy theories. That's where we got our lizard people numbers from. We also learned that the percentage of Americans who believe that a secret power elite with a globalist agenda is conspiring to eventually rule the world through an authoritarian world government or new world order, that percentage is 28%.